In this lesson, we're going to look at a particular type of nuclear radiation called alpha radiation. Nuclides that emit alpha radiation, what we call alpha emitters, are used in, for example, various space probes to produce electricity and in certain types of cancer treatments. Alpha radiation is made of alpha particles. So what are alpha particles? Let's take a look. These are two photos of uranium. Uranium makes up about three parts per million of the Earth's crust and is more abundant than gold, silver and mercury, but slightly less abundant than lead. Uranium is used to produce atomic bombs and it's one of the fuels used in nuclear reactors. This is the nucleus of a U238 atom. It has 92 protons, that's the atomic number, and 146 neutrons. So in total, there are 238 nucleons altogether, what we call the mass number, hence U238. This many nucleons is unstable, and so the nucleus spits out, the technical word is it emits, what's called an alpha particle, which is a group of two protons and two neutrons. It's never some other combination, like two protons and three neutrons, it's always two and two. The uranium atom that we're only showing the nucleus of is no longer a uranium atom. It has lost two protons and so it only has 90 protons left, which, if you consult a periodic table, makes it a thorium atom. It has also lost two neutrons, leaving it with 144 neutrons. Since it has lost a total of four nucleons, two protons and two neutrons, the number of nucleons it now has is only 234. So when the alpha emission occurs, the uranium-238 atom turns into a thorium-234 atom. The whole process is called alpha emission or alpha decay. Decay means breaking down into smaller bits. The leftover nucleus is called the daughter nucleus. Since alpha particles come from the nucleus of alpha emitting atoms, alpha particles are a form of nuclear radiation. We'll look at beta and gamma radiation in our next episode. We can't see nuclear radiation with our eyes, but we can detect it with Geiger counters and with other specialized electronic equipment. Alpha particles are emitted at speeds of about 30,000 kilometers per second, or about 10% of the speed of light. Since alpha particles have two protons and two neutrons, they are identical to the nuclei of helium atoms. Alpha particles are given the Greek symbol alpha, which is obviously very similar to an English A, but it's got curvy lines. In atomic notation, alpha particles can be written as 4,2-alpha or as 4,2-HE2+. Both of these tell us that the alpha particle has two positively charged protons and four nucleons in total, which means that there are two protons and two neutrons. The 2 plus here means that the alpha particle carries a charge of 2 plus. There are two protons, each with a charge of 1 plus, and since there are no electrons, the overall charge is 2 plus. We can write a nuclear equation to express what happens when a U238 atom, let me double it up, emits an alpha particle and changes into a thorium atom. What begins as a 23892U atom loses two protons and two neutrons, which, as we've seen, can be written as 4,2-alpha. Four nucleons, two of them protons, alpha particle. The uranium atom, having lost two protons, changes into an atom with only 90 protons, that is, a thorium atom. Having lost four nucleons, there are only 234 nucleons left, so its mass number reduces to 234. The new atom can be written in atomic notation as 23490th. We can put all this information together in a single nuclear equation. 23892U turns into 23490th plus 42 alpha. It's pretty easy to do the mathematics. Notice that 238 equals 234 plus 4 and that 92 equals 90 plus 2. Easy. Thanks for watching this short excerpt from the second episode of the Shedding Light on Nuclear Radiation series, Alpha Radiation. The Shedding Light on Nuclear Radiation series teaches students what nuclear radiation is and how humans have harnessed its awesome power. 
In episode 2 of the series, we look at, as you've just seen, what alpha radiation is and introduce the concept of ionization. The fact that nuclear radiation can ionize atoms, that is, rip their electrons off, is what makes it so dangerous. We also look at how alpha-emitting substances are used to power space probes and to treat certain types of cancer. Click on the link in the description below to go to the Liakos Educational Media website where you can download the worksheet and also find out how to watch the whole program. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.